USC run number six, folks. Cardiff and the Stormers. Uh, that was weird. Crazy. 31-24 victory. Cardiff, I don't think during the regular 80 minutes, led this game at all. But they score at the death, and they get a win. We'll go through some key events and stats, and you guys can let us know your thoughts. But man, these guys came back from the dead a couple of times. The Cardiff boys, the Stormers guys will rue a few missed chances. And um, yeah, essentially giving away a winning position. Stormers scrum early was getting them some good pay. Interestingly, they were back in their forwards instead of back in their goal kickers. When they got a scrum penalty, they opted for touch. And it paid off, man. They were told to use it from the mall, but then suddenly, out of nowhere, kind of Fenters just there over in the corner. So good start for the Stormers. Seven points to nil lead. And then Cardiff from the restart, kick it out on the full, put their scrum back under pressure. Uh, Alex Mann managed to win a turnover on his own line to kind of get the Cardiff guys out of immediate trouble, but they just couldn't escape their own half. They were eventually offside. The Stormers went for touch again. Big lineup wall goes close. A uh, bit of messy play, but eventually Ryan Nell is able to find himself going over. So, man, 14 points to nil. Pretty bloody good start for the Stormers. Uh, Harry Millard goes off for Cardiff with an HIA, where he gets kind of hit a little bit high, but not foul play. So, yeah, he doesn't come back on. So, yeah, Cardiff have lost the player. They're two tries down. And, um, yeah, it's, it's not been a great start for them, but the Stormers are doing, you know, ticking along pretty nicely. Uh, however, they uh, they did manage to to get the next points of the game. I mean, after they had kicked it dead, I was thinking this guy, uh, De Beer, is not going to have his finest outing. But to be fair, he sets up the next try. He sets up Hammer Webb's try on 23 minutes. He puts a nice little dink through after kind of a half break. And uh, there's no Stormers guys anywhere around it. The TMO checked it to make sure everybody was onside. Usually when guys are that clear in the open, somebody's offside. But no, nah, not this time. So 14 points to 7. A little bit of a wake-up call for the Stormers, I guess. Because Cardiff, up until that point, haven't really fired many shots. And maybe in response, the next time the Stormers guy, when they got a, when they got a penalty, they, um, they opted for the 3 to maybe shift from the momentum. But it's an interesting call when the previous two times you've gone for touch, you've been able to go for... For, for tries and, and you got a good reward for it so it is an interesting switch in tactics anyway but um yeah cardiff they managed to keep the momentum despite going down the uh the three points from the penalty um yeah they really kind of did well after an initial i don't know just like not not showing up early they were just under the pump early they, they won the second half of the first half if that makes any sense but i mean grady big carries tamani and uh, Belcher is able to finish one off for the Cardiff guys. So 14 points to 17 at halftime. So the Stormers have got that slender lead. They did miss a 55-meter shot at goal before halftime. So definitely a change of tactics for the Stormers. But they've had more position the Stormers, more territory, um, and more turnovers won, more clean breaks. Cardiff have conceded more penalties. So maybe the Stormers will be a little bit gutted they've let They've let the score get back as close as it was, but good fight from the Cardiff guys, man. Second half, Cardiff start with a five-meter attacking scrum chance, but they lose the ball. And then when the Stormers go down the other end, 10 minutes later, run now gets a second of the game. Cardiff on the back of too many penalties conceded. Uh, phases after a more wide ball, slick finish for the Stormers. So 24-14. It looks like it's going back to that early start of the game where it's just going to be the Stormers, but... Cardiff, man, to their credit, every time they would go down, they would just come back. They must have been frustrating as hell for the Stormers guys. They hit back very quickly. I mean, Mason Grady, if anyone deserved the try, that guy deserved the try. It's this weird line-out kind of trick play where they throw it up. Was it uh, was it Jenkins who had it? Just kind of held it there at the base after catching the line-out on the, on the deck for just an extra second to pop the ball through to Grady. He goes through a wiper, waping, a gaping hole. And um, I was going to say wide, wide and gaping. So waping 24 points to 21, man, back to game on. And then 63 minutes, the Stormers can see the penalty at the breakdown. Uh, De Beer uses pretty much every last second on the shot clock, but he still manages to slot it. So 24 points apiece. What's going to happen here? I feel like the Stormers should have won it in this next phase of play because they, they woke up once the scores got to 24 all. They put on a heap of pressure, but Cardiff's defense, man, was able to hold on. Really desperate stuff from both sides. Maybe the Storm was a little bit 
like too ambitious at times. You needed to just have a little bit of a calmer head. But I mean, as the commentators mentioned, there's not a lot of international experience in that Stormer squad. So sometimes that um, that kind of thing just comes with more game time. Uh, I thought, you know, it's really Welsh commentary when you've got a prop and Reese Carey having a big carry. And they said that he's like a runaway tractor. Yeah. That's, that's, that, that feels very Welsh, but it was great. They were getting into it. Um, and then maybe the key moment of the game when the Storm has got another penalty. Could have slotted the three. Went back to the original tactics of going for touch. But the, the Cardiff guys were able to keep the ball in. Uh, jumping over the line. I forget who it was, but it was a great potential game saver that moment. So, yeah, they'll ruin not opting for the three, maybe in hindsight. And then Halant, when he was going for some steps, ended up just dropping the ball cold. So... Like I said, some missed opportunities for the Stormers when they had Cardiff under pressure. And then it gets worse for the Stormers when Connor Evans on a clear out for Turnbull. Arm to the head gets yellow carded. Ben Thomas with a long range shot goes well wide. So it looks like it's going to end as kind of a draw. Especially when the Stormers are attacking. Then I think it's Jenkins gets a turnover. Seb Davis just bloody hoofs the ball long. What are you doing? There's 30 seconds left. Don't go coughing the ball up like that. But then Blomakis makes an absolute meal of it. He knocks it on in his own 22. So it's a chance for Cardiff. Uh, they get a scrum. They go through phases. They're a meter out. On 82 minutes, they have to check whether Reese Littrick has got it over or whether he's knocked it on. Uh, they said that there wasn't really any conclusive evidence of a knock on. The camera angles weren't the best. The reaction of the players, as the commentator said, kind of made it look like it was a try. Uh, but yeah, they give it. So Cardiff, despite not leading at all, managed to walk away with a win, man. Like, geez, what a great one for the crowd. Uh, obviously, a brutal one for the Stormers. But, man, they had their chances to, to put this game to bed. And Cardiff just don't give up. So really good to see that from the players. You love a team with a bit of heart like that. I mean, possession and territory finish in the Stormers' favor, 52-48. Stormers got more run meters, 443 to 223. But the kicks from hand, 37 by Cardiff, 25 by the Stormers. Cardiff got more turnovers, one four to three defenders beaten as equal 26 apiece clean break six four to the stormers grady man he's a such a unit 11 defenders beaten as the top guy in the game for that the next best is halan and nell who both have five each so that speaks to the physical presence that is mason grady ellis jenkins makes 15 tackles to be honest neither side's tackling rate was that great 80 percent from cardiff 79 from the stormers uh against other teams you probably won't win games with those kind of numbers but Man, this game was a cracker. Uh, Carter forgot the Scarlets next at home. Zorm Stormers uh, back home to Zebra. So they'll look to break this We run. They are on the Stormers. But yeah, you guys let us know your thoughts on the game. Pretty crazy stuff. Well done, Carter. And uh, losing bonus point for the Stormers. You guys take care. And I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.